everyone this is andre with the best tech in this tutorial we're going to master how to create a cutting edge to do application from scratch this tutorial is meant for both beginners and advanced developers so we're going to start slow and pick up the pace as we progress our primary goal is to explore riverport 2.0 and code generation we're also going to explore some other technologies like sqlite firebase phone authentication and setting up local notifications for our to-do application. Without wasting time, let's take a tour of our application. But first we need to pick the country code. So if we pick the country code here, and then our UI will change and we need to input the number here so that we can receive the code. So if you press send, we are prompted to, to the next page so that we can verify whether we're human or not. If you are verified, it will bring us back and send us to our OTP, OTP page. So in our OTP page, you are supposed to input your, your OTP. So this is my OTP. And in this page, we don't have a button. If code is correct, then it will redirect you to the next page. So here we are prompted to allow notifications. So I'm going to press allow. So this is what our app looks like here on top. We have our title and we have this icon we can be able to add a task so here we are going to be showing today's task in this section and if we press here on the tab bar view then we can show completed tasks and down here we have tomorrow tasks and this one is going to be the day after tomorrow so if today is the sixth if today was the fifth then the date over there should be two days after so let's explore and see so first we want to add a task so here we are going to give it a name notifications and in here so let's just write something random okay so we want to set the date so we are going to set today's date because we, we want to test notifications at the same time so if we set the date our state changes all this is done by the help of providers and if we set our start time, let's set it to a minute, a minute later. And let's set our finish time. We can set it to anything for now. And then we need to submit this task. So this is the task that we just submitted. So we have to wait a little bit here. We have the ability to see the title, see the part of the body. And down here, we can see the time when it's beginning and the time when it's ending. And also we have the ability to edit the task or delete the task. Here we can mark the task as complete. So if we upload a task and it's scheduled for tomorrow, it's not going to be displayed on top. It's going to come down here at the bottom. And if it is for the day after tomorrow, it's going to come down here at the bottom. And our colors here, they are all dynamic. So let's take, for example, if I press completed and come back, our color changes so let's press and see our task so if we press on the notification we will have a compartino alert alert dialog so here we have the title of our task and we have the the body at least part of the body here because the the box doesn't have to be too long so we need to view so if we press on view so this is how our notifications page is going to look like so we have a reminder a bell and the time is today from this time to that time this is the title of our of our task and this is the body of our task this is what our notifications are going to look like so we can close the notification here so let's try out to edit this task and let's say notification tests okay in the way it's okay let's change the date to to the fifth and press done and let's change the time the time is okay because it's going to be set to to the fifth so everything here is okay if we submit our task is gone we cannot see it here so we have to come down here and press this expansion tile then our task will reappear in tomorrow's task so if we come here and edit this task again and change the date and set the date to, to the 6th and update our task. 
So if we come up here and if we open, we don't have anything. And if we come down here and open, now we can see our task because we scheduled it for June the 6th. So we can be able to, to delete a job. But first, before we try to delete a job, let's go ahead and edit it. Let's change day to, to today. Let's submit the task. So our task is here. We can only mark our task as complete if it is here. So if you mark our task as complete, then our state will just change. Our application will refresh and our task will appear in our completed task. So here we don't have a switcher anymore. We have a button to show that, okay, we've completed our task. So here we can just delete this task if you don't want it. 